Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'll prove the sine low for the sum and the difference between two angles. But before anything on, there is a concept that we must uh, show that, for example, if we have cosine a certain angle, cosine data, and we have an equal here, and we want to get the sine of a certain angle. So, what a, what a sine of which angle equals the cosine of data? We have a rule that says that cosine data equals sine 90 degrees negative data. And the opposite. Sine data equals cosine 90 degrees negative data. Why? Let's see. For example, if we have cosine 30 degrees, this equals root 3 over 2. Sign which angles um, sign which angle equals sine Sign which angle equals root 3 over 2. We will notice that <coughs> sine 60 degrees equals root 3 over 2. If we have here 90 degrees negative 30, which is data in this situation, we will find that this equals 60 degrees, which is 90 negative data. Another, if we have cosine, uh, we will flip the uh, numbers, so cosine 60 actually equals half, and sine 30 also equals half. So, this is 90 negative data, which is 60, will equal 30 degrees. So, we will use advantage of this um, concept or this uh, rule in order to uh, know from where did the rule of the sine low, the sum and difference between the two angles come from. Our rule says that sine, the difference between two angles, let's say A and B, equals sine A, cosine B, and the sine doesn't change, negative, cosine A, sine B. So, in the first we have sine the first angle, which is A, cosine the second angle, which is B. In the second term, we have cosine the first angle, and sine the first angle, so they are the opposite of each other. And the sine doesn't change. If we have sine, the sum of two angles, it's the same. We have sine A, cosine B, positive cosine A, sine B, and also the sine doesn't change. So, from where did this rule come from? Here we have sine A negative B. This, as we have just said, equals cosine 90 degrees negative A negative B. So this is data and this is 90 negative data. And by the way, 90 may be written like this, by over 2. Because in trigonometry, the um, by equals 180 degrees. So 180 divided 2 equals 90. Okay. So, cosine negative. So, cosine 90 negative A negative B. We will introduce this negative into the terms inside the brackets here. So we get cosine 90, okay, 
90 negative a and here negative negative gives positive b we put these two here together in a bracket so we get 90 negative a positive b then we will use the cosine law for the sum of two angles that we have just said in the previous video if you want to know from where did this rule come from just click on this link here and you will know the proof of this rule so this will equal cosine 90 negative a cosine b here we have a positive sign, we change this into a negative sign, then sign 90 negative A, then sign B. So also by using the rule that we uh, set in the uh, beginning of the video. Cosine 90 negative A equals sine A. So we have this equals sine A. Cosine B. Negative. Sine 90 negative A actually is cosine A. Then sine B. So this is the same as this one. Sin A, cosine B, negative cosine A, sin B. In a case that we want to get the sum of two angles, not the difference between them, we will replace this B with the negative B, so uh, this will be A plus B. Then we will have here sin A, cosine negative B, and here we'll have negative cosine a sine negative b so sine a and cosine negative b actually equals cosine b so the first term doesn't change negative cosine a sine negative b sine negative b is negative sine b the negative will uh, be multiplied by the negative here so this sign changes into a positive sign and then we have cosine a sine B. So getting the difference and the sum of two angles, getting the sign of this is very simple. Sine A negative B, we get the sine of the first cosine of the second. Then we uh, we do not change the sign in here, and in the second term we get uh, the Sine of the second, cosine of the first. So, cosine, sine, sine, cosine, sine, cosine, sine. We change the order. It's the same thing here. Sine, cosine, sine, cosine. Sine, cosine, sine, cosine. And we put the uh, sine as it is here. It's a positive, so we put a positive sign. This is how to get the sine law of the sum and the difference between two angles. The next time we will know how to get the tangent of the sum and the difference between two angles. And until then, thank you for watching and see you.